G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, so the feedback was that um, better that I face you guys in front of the camera. So hopefully you guys uh, can see my face and hear my voice a bit better. So yeah, we'll keep going with this format and um, hopefully it all works out well. So today I've got another Trident Maple um, that I'd like to replot. Uh, probably a good idea that I'm in front of it because so you can see the size. It's not a bad tree. Um, you know, pretty nice the bar is starting to form on it, pretty good. You can see there's a there's a big wound here that's starting to heal up quite well. Um, it's almost finished healing, which is really good. Um, so that's probably the only default or defect in this tree that at the moment. This is somewhere in the front around here, but I'm working on trying to get these branches becoming more in an upwards shape rather than the flat shape. So this tree has a bit of development still to go. Um, so yeah, that's that's one thing. I like how this tree's going. Uh, the wounds are starting to heal up really well. I just want to see what it looks like with the roots this year, this tree, because this is the first year I've actually got it in this size pot. It was in a slightly deeper pot last time. Um, so I want to see how it's going in this shallower pot. So it's a nice cream pot. I have to probably bring it back a little bit so you can see it. Really quite nice, nothing nothing too fancy. Now don't get alarmed when I do this, everyone gets worried that I'm going to chip the pot or break the pot or so or something. Don't worry, I've done this many, many times. Um, I use my root hook, this the blade part of my root hook, to, to go around around the, um, the pot, rim of the pot. So um, you can use a knife or something. It just, just allows you to get underneath. Now all that creaking you hear is pretty much the pumice rubbing against the pot. It's, I'm hardly really touching the pot too much with this, this um, metal part, metal rake. So don't stress too much when I do this. Um, I know people get, we're going, oh, have you chipped pots, etc. No, I haven't actually. The only time I've ever broken pots is when the winds come up and unexpectedly and, you know, pull the, pull the couple of trees down from the benches, um, which were quite tall, and that's, that's how I've broken a pot. But nothing from repotting, nothing from um, doing it this way. So, so it's quite, um, quite safe. You just get, just be gentle but firm. I guess that's the, that's the hard, hard balance, I guess. But yeah, let's um, let's get into this and we can show you what, what it looks like. So I'll make my way all the way around it and I slowly pry back. And it's only slowly, slowly it's trying to lift. Again, it's the noise of the pumice. So it's pretty, pretty easy. It's come come up pretty well. I just try and contain the mess by using the catch it all. So a bit of force it should come out. And it's stuck. Why is it stuck there? Maybe. Unless I've got some wire. It shouldn't be sticking. That's why. That's why it's not moving. I'm in the water. Should check it. Okay, should be right. So we'll just move this out of the way. So I usually like to use, just to use something catch all the mess, otherwise I'm there cleaning for ages. So here's my root hook. And I just slowly go around the tree. And I really try and get the top top um, part off just because. It's where the weeds have grown or the moss has grown. So it helped me, you know, break down the top layer first. By doing that, you actually try and open up and aerate the top of the soil. Like that's, you think about all your organic fertilizer, all your little weeds and stuff that's sitting at the top of the tree. When that happens, you know, it starts to like form a little, of a little bit of a layer on the top that stops it from, uh, stop the water going in. So. So I try and comb out from the top a little bit. It looked pretty good as well from roots. And you notice if I do this, the soil just falls away. Just great. 
not too bad root mass. Pretty good. I think it might actually can I can next year I'm gonna probably keep it for two two years in this soil. Um, it just didn't didn't really fill the pot totally. So I think we can go two years on this tree. It's good good to know. In this pot, I can still go two years, so it's good. I'm just going to get through this. So the soil I re recycle. Um, I wash all the fines out of it. And I use it for growing on um, other trees. Growing on like stock trees. So it's not too bad. Pretty good bushy. Nice big, um, nice big empty bit in the, in, the, in, the, in the base there which is really good. You can see that quite clearly. Nice and open. Nice and big there. Quite good. Now I get my scissors out and let's start pruning away. If I find heavy ones, I try and cut them back a bit more. You need to hold up the tree or lean it on the side like before. Like I was showing you before. So it's a beautiful day here in Melbourne. And even though we all knocked down, people are out and about. And you can hear them in the backyards. So I can't do much about that voice and those noise voices. So there you go. That's a quick, nice easy quick root prune of that tree now i'm going to go wash the top of his soil um, i will try and record this i'll see how it comes out because i've some, some people have been asking how do you wash it it's not really that hard to be honest you just use a jet spray on your hose and really just hose into it like really just hose into all these little bits here hose into the base things like that nothing really too difficult but yeah, nice tree nice fun fun to play with um yeah but I'll just try and show you that. I'll try and show you how I hose it all off. Okay? All right. All right, so I'm trying to set up somewhere in the garden. Oh, that's not a right spray, but just get a jet spray. And really hose into the area. I'm sure you can see that Then I turn it around. guys so I've got my tree back now I've got my uh, I've got my soil mounded into the into the into the middle so I've mounded it up in the middle because you know where how that's a bit of a gap in there in the middle there I put that down and I actually twist it down so now I'm gonna put the front of the tree to me so I can look at it and you can see the back of the tree see how it's sitting a bit high at the moment that's fine because now I should be able to twist it in and really filling that gap at the in the middle so it really goes into this gets right into it into the into that hole and then the tree should sit nicely that looks pretty good to me pretty easy that one this one i've got a tie wire at the back of the tree so i'm just going to tie it just just lightly 
towards the back. I'm not, because this tree is such a big tree, it's not really going to move in this pot too much. This tie this tie wire just gives it a bit more strength just to hold it in. So you can see repotting isn't that difficult, even for older trees. Um, but then again, this has only been in this pot for one year. I think if it was in, a, in the pot for more, um, it would be harder. It would take me um, a lot longer to get it out. So just looking at it, yeah, that's pretty good. I like it where it is. So now just get some soil. I just usually go all the way around first. Get some more. I usually put it just a quick layer in. Sometimes I like to give it a tap before I get the chopstick out. Then I get the chopstick. And try and work, this is where on a bigger tree it takes a bit longer because there's a lot more gaps to work the soil into. So really it's going to be now just a matter of just water this tree in and it's good to go. Pretty easy. Top up as you go. I always use my fingers as well with, when you're working with a chopstick, so work in with the, with my, with the chopstick, push down with my fingers, so you really fill those air pockets. And everything just sinks when you do that, it's really good. Some areas are a bit thinner than others. I hope you can. You heard me when I was um, trying to wash those roots. A bit loud with the hose, but you can see it's pretty straightforward. Give it a good. I try and give it a good rinse. Really get into it. Underneath, on top, everywhere. So this is all about repotting at the moment. This, this time of year, um, get through all your repotting deciduous trees for, for us in Melbourne. Um, I think a lot of people have probably finished by now. Some people haven't started. No real big deal. Um, you'll get there. It's still, still, still things haven't actually, the older trees haven't budded. I do have seedlings and so on that have actually start, have actually opened. So that's seedlings. So, you know, they're only one to two year old seedlings. So they do, as I said, younger trees seem to open earlier than older trees. There you go, done. Well, within about 10 minutes, that one, that tree's done. And that's me talking too. So if I wasn't, if I wasn't having to talk and so on, it would probably be a little bit quicker. But um, there you go, another tree, done, watered, water this tree in. Um, and that's it, done, done and dusted for another year. All right guys, um, hope you enjoyed that quick video, but um, I'll probably show more of my, I like to try, I like using YouTube as a pretty much a, a recording of the history of my trees as well. So it's really been positive experience using YouTube to do that. Upload them, record them, play them back whenever I want to so I can see a previous history of a tree. So it's been really good. It's been really positive. So what can I say? Um, yeah, but it's been a good good time. Um, so there you go. I'll keep replanting my other trees, other deciduous trees that you've probably seen in the past. And it's good to see them come through the channel again and again, and hopefully you see improvements um, year on year. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time.